Hey everybody, welcome to New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year, epic challenge that my partner Laura and I decided to tackle a few years back. The challenge, 365 activities all around New Zealand in 365 days. And today we're checking out the Art Deco town of Napier and we're doing a tour with their trust so you see exactly what it looks like. I'll see you at the end of the video when I'm going to go over all the comments and questions you had the first time we published it. We're on the road really early this morning. I'm driving. We're going to a one-way bridge, everyone. Hold on to your hats. Laura at the wheel sounds way scarier than it actually is. She's actually quite a safe driver. She just never drives. Finally arrived in Napier, the Art Deco capital of New Zealand. The city, the city was completely rebuilt in the Art Deco style after a massive earthquake that turned the city into flame and, and started many fires. And today we're going to learn all about that during our tour with the Art Deco Trust Center. It's a two hour walk tour all around Napier and we're going to see a ton of Art Deco building and it's going to be absolutely epic. The Art Deco Center is going to be the start of our two hour guided walking tour around Napier City checking out the Art Deco architecture. And inside the center they have a really fun and quirky Art Deco style gift shop with lots of amazing trinkets and costumes on sale. Our Art Deco tour begins with a bit of a presentation on the context of Napier's Art Deco architecture and why it's exactly here. And that's because there was a huge earthquake, a 7.5 earthquake on the Richter scale, which devastated the city. And they decided to rebuild in a really cool and funky way through the Art Deco style. We also explained what exactly is Art Deco because to be honest Robin and I didn't even know what Art Deco was until we got here. And basically it's a type of design which uses geometrical patterns, angular shapes and symbols of power, freedom and the dawn of a new age which was fitting in the 1920s when this style was created and it's fitting for a reviving town such as Napier after the earthquake. Nikki is incredibly passionate about the Art Deco style. It's quite fascinating to see her passion for such an old art form. It hasn't been used much lately. And we can hear all of her commentary through the headset that we've been provided. Nikki is basically in feet with a microphone and we listen to her through the receiver and the headset that we've been provided. It's a really cool way to make sure that everybody hear the entire commentary without having to gather everybody together. It gives us a little bit of freedom to wander around and check out what she's actually talking about. Nikki talks about all the notable features about the Art Deco style while we are walking through the streets. She points out a lot of stuff that we basically wouldn't have noticed if we were walking on our own. But the one thing that I love the most about this entire tour is how many times she uses the word ziggurat. Ziggurats are basically this zigzag shape which is proper to the Art Deco style. It basically features on almost every single building or art form that we are seeing and you know what, I just can't stop saying it. Ziggurat, 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 ziggurat. As we're walking around on this Art Deco tour, we really get to appreciate how good looking Napier City is. Every shop window has a beautiful Art Deco style facade, which is impeccably maintained. And we've not been in a city like this in New Zealand or pretty much anywhere else that we've visited in the world. Not only do we get to appreciate Art Deco architecture from the outside, but where possible, we even go into buildings to check out some of the interiors of those beautiful Art Deco styles. Nikki explains the history of Napier, as well as the ideas behind the building's architecture, using aids like photographs and diagrams and building plans. And she even points out some hidden features that we see through letterboxes inside some of the buildings. Considering we've only been in Napier for less than an hour, this tour has been a really awesome introduction to Napier and giving us really some context into why Napier looks the way it does. And one last feature Nikki is so excited to show us is the LED lighting windows. The LED lighting windows are really reminiscent to stained glass windows that you usually find in churches. And it's a really classic, true Art Deco style of windows. By the end of the tour, Nikki takes us inside another Art Deco building which has heaps of geometrical shape everywhere from the stairs to the lightning to the ceiling, it's really awesome. And the last place that we see during our tour is actually our accommodation of our stay. It's the Archie's Bunker right in the city centre of Napier. 
a quick movie to finish the tour and we are off. There's often people sort of, you know, lagging behind, trying to get old Picasso on the bloody buildings and take the best photos. Kill Picasso on the old bloody buildings. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> I'll start again. All right, everybody, quite an interesting tour indeed. And uh, yeah, there's not that many tours that I've seen with the headphone and you can hear the guide all the time. The, the, the whole system is kind of it's kind of interesting. It's, it's not Art Deco in itself, but it's quite interesting. So not that many comments the first time we published the video, just because it is same thing, like it's same thing that the last video we talked about, right? It's not something which is super popular to do so therefore it doesn't really draw the huge amount of views and comments but if you have questions and comments of your own just do it uh, do it in the comments right now anyway chasing adeline was saying that she had such a good time exploring into the art deco of the old city and she said it's quite an amazing story how they rebuild the city ah, i find it quite amazing as well like i wouldn't know where to begin to actually rebuild an entire city i feel like it's a crazy daunting task but somehow they did it which is quite epic we also have Carol Smart that says, lovely, we are going to visit this place in two weeks' time. So it's, it looks like she was doing her homework about uh, traveling into Napier, which is awesome. So um, this is uh, really something that we do a lot here at NZ Pocket Guard, helping you with planning your trip to New Zealand. So we have a few tools for you to take advantage of. So first up, we have nzpocketguide.com. It's New Zealand's largest travel guide. It's full of amazing information for you to plan your trip to New Zealand. It's all 100% free. So check it out at www.nzpocketguide.com. Another way you can plan your trip with us is to join us during one of our live sessions. So every single Sunday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time, Laura and I spend one hour answering all your questions about traveling in New Zealand. So just join the live session. Uh, in order to get notified, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, all these kind of good things. It's also a great way to reward all the hard work to do all these things so so smash some buttons below and uh, yeah you join us during the live session you just type your uh, questions in the live chat and we usually go over it it's as simple as that and lastly you can join us on patreon so that's a paid uh, feature so you know just you know consider if you want to do that it costs less than a cup of coffee a month but with that you'll be able to support us and you'll get access to a secret facebook group where we can hang out with you all week long you get an extra live session we help you with your itinerary and many 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 more perks so you may want to check that out. In the meantime, stay safe. I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.